Hello, Michelle with Crafty Surveyings. We're gonna think spring tonight. Spring, maybe even summer. Um, we're gonna decorate a clay pot. So come on on, come say hi. We're making it rustic. Of course, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and get started because this is gonna be a little bit Longer project, not, you know, I don't know. I always say longer or something, but it's not so much. We're gonna decorate up this clay pot, all right? Last year I had quite a few things with clay pots, but this is gonna be a little bit different, but it's a sort of a same kind. I'm using collage paper that I used for the crosses. I'm gonna be using that on this pot. I'm gonna make this a little bit rustic, a little bit weathered, and we'll go from that. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm pretty sure it, I'm pretty sure it'll work. Hey, all right. So the colors I've got, we're gonna start with paint. I've got a, just a cream color. I didn't want bright, bright white. Um, you can really use any color, but I'm using a collage paper, so I want it to blend in with this. I'm also adding just a little touch of evergreen and rockwood red, which will blend in with the paper. All right, so um, we're gonna just start and paint the pot. Now, I'm not sealing it first. Um, a lot of times if you do it outside, you can buy that Scotch Guard or there's other sealers you can put on on the pot and you can put it on after, but because I just thought I'm gonna come on and do this, I don't have it sealed. So this would be one that I would probably just use on a table. Um, maybe, I don't know, put a potted plant in it or put something else in it, but um, I'm not sealing it, but you definitely can seal it, okay, so that you can maybe use it more outside. And even if you put it outside like this, it'll get weathered, it'll get more weathered during the summer. And I don't mind getting things um, if some of it wears off during the summer because next year I'm gonna be doing new pots anyhow. So, um, and those you can sand down and, and reuse, okay? So, um, so again, if you, if you want it sealed, if you want it really to stay, you wanna seal it with Scotch Guard or a sealer, you can get can sealer, you can, you know, just look for it. So again, I'm just gonna use the cream and I'm gonna, paint it up. I'm actually going to put the cover here. I would paint the cover too, but I'm not going to do it right now just to save time. We're only going to do this pot part for now, but I'm going to put the cover there so I can lay it on there. Um, you can use chalk paint. This is just an acrylic paint. And again, because I'm making it a little bit rustic, I don't need it to be very good coverage. If I wanted extra coverage, I would do a light coat and I would um, let it dry and then do another coat, but I'm not needing to do that tonight. Okay. So just blend it in. This is not chalk paint. This is a regular acrylic paint chalk paint would work great. So this was the color that I had um, that I wanted to use and I don't have it in chalk paint. I have bright white in chalk paint but I don't have like a off creamy white. So thank you Sharon for passing it on. I appreciate it. All right so I'm just going to add a little bit more um, this won't take long to dry at all because it's not a sealed pot. But I just want, I mean, you can see there's some of the brown still showing through. I'm not sure. Is the light good enough there? You can see that. I saw it. And now we got some on me. I'm wearing the same color, so I don't have to worry about it, right? All right, let's just add a little more touches of it. And then I'm going to add a little extra color in it. There's different ways you can add that color and I'll show you. All right and I also would go um, normally I would go over inside and actually I probably will do that. I'm going to go a little bit inside the pot just because my collage paper is going to go a little inside the pot so I might as well already 
do inside. I'm just trying to hold. Do I need to show you what I'm doing? <laughs> Maybe that's why you're on here. All right, so I'm just getting inside the pot here. If um, you weren't going to plant in this right away, I mean, you could do the paint all the way down. You could probably even do the paint all the way down, as long, again, if you have it sealed. I can feel I'm getting messy here. Because the paint is a little wet on the outside. All right, so I just wanted to get a little of that in, just because I'm going to be going up over the top. All right, I think that looks good. And again, it's not a solid coverage. You can see that there's some in there, but because I'm going to be roughing it up a little bit, um, <laughs> so you will get wet if you don't let it dry. All right, so I'm going to just just add a little bit of extra color to it, and then we're going to sand it up. Okay, so this again is the evergreen. It's Americana. Use whatever colors you like. Um, I will, I'm using decoupage paper. I used this before and you've all, who've ever been watching me have seen me use it. Um, with that decoupage paper, you could pick out colors out of there. And these are a couple colors that, that are in that decoupage paper. I don't want to put a lot on here though, because I don't want it to be real prominent. Just, we're going to put just a little bit of dabs. So you could do a couple, couple ways. You could either take sponges and not even necessarily makeup sponge you could take a regular sponge and rip it apart and dab it dab most of it off and just dab it in a couple places I'm gonna take just a rough brush and I've got a paper towel here and actually I'm gonna do the red right away too this is a rockwood red Americana also you get these at Hobby Lobby all right not now most of us but I've got a paint stash and as I've been saying I've been using up what I have here so I'm not about to go out there in in those stores I don't even know that ours is open so I'm just taking a little bit off on the paper towel because I don't want it real bright and and actually we have a big glop my my professional words a big glop of white paint there. So I'm just going to put a little bit in places. Again, if you have a sponge, just sort of dab it, but I want it to look a little bit aged and then we're going to age it a little bit more. I'm just going to put my paper towel on. And then we're going to age it a little bit more by sanding it down. So let's just add that in and this is going to start making it look a little bit aged. You don't need a lot of it. But again, these are colors that are in that collage page. Collage paper. If I can get my words straight tonight. And all right. That one I didn't dab off, but that's okay. I'll wipe some of that off. And if you if you get a big big amount on there like that, just take a little bit more of the white and go over. But I think it'll be fine. It'll be just fine. Now I'm gonna take the red and I'm gonna do the same thing. And again, it's it's sort of a country red, and I'm doing. You know, that's looking at. It looks like it's a little bit aged. I love this color on here. And you just. It's okay to get the bigger amounts again if it's too much that you don't like it just take the white and put it back on all right get along the edges maybe along the top edge a little bit in a couple places okay, I'm gonna get a little green up there too All right, so I'm gonna get rid of my paint there. And I think this is mostly dry. I'm just gonna dry it. I'm just gonna set this aside now. And I'm taking a sanding block. And I'm gonna sand a bunch because I want it to look pretty aged. And even where it was darker there, I'm going to sand some of that off and look, it, it takes a lot of that away. So, and I'm using some edges in some places just to get some of the pot even to show through. And 
I'm hoping the class paper works on the colors. I know it'll work on the white, but I'm hoping it'll work on the colors. Okay, so again, just rough it up. Rough, make it look nice and a little bit tough. If you're not looking how liking how it looks, just add some more paint and do it again. But I'm really roughing it up good, okay? And then we're gonna add that paper on. What kind of paint? This I used um, just regular acrylic paint. I used Rockwood Red, Evergreen, and a cream color. But you can use chalk paint. That would work perfectly fine. That would be really good. I didn't need total coverage. All right. So we just roughed it up a little bit, okay? Now I'm gonna wipe off that powder that's on there. We get rid of this piece of paper now. And now we're gonna do the decoupage. Put that on. All right, so probably pretty many of you, I think probably saw that I um, did a, a cross with crackle paint and I added a little bit of this collage paper. So, but then a lot of people had problems finding it. I had just gotten it at Hobby Lobby before I did that. So probably about a month ago. And within a week after that, it was gone and they're not getting it back in mine either. But I can place a link out there. I know that Amazon has it. So I can pl place a link so you can use it. And this is just real, this is, it's Tim, Tim Holtz Ideology. And it's, it's like a, not a tissue, well, it's sort of like a tissue paper. And isn't that really pretty? So, and I used it on a cross and I thought it was beautiful. And we're doing it on this pod. So I'm just going to bring, actually, I think I'm just going to do this. So that you can see and it's not going to stick to the paper. All right, so to put this on, we're going to use matte finish Mod Podge. Um, I'm going to cut a few of these pieces. Now, you can cut whatever you like. Now, I like like that Birdie Darling. And I'm just going to roughly cut it. It doesn't have to be straight edges. You can even tear it if you want. I, do, I don't want that straight edge on the bottom, so I am going to... I'm gonna leave the bird on there, but I'm gonna cut some of that edge to make it a little bit rough. And definitely you can tear it too, but it works doing this. We're gonna end up putting that on somewhere. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut a few of these out. I never could find that paper. Um, Judy Ann, I'll post a link. So up in the description when I'm done, I'll put a, um, a link that I know it can be gotten. Um, like I said, I was disappointed that I was actually going to go back and get other kinds because they have even a few other kinds um, when I saw it and it wasn't there anymore. And I asked and they said they're not getting it back anymore. So I'm disappointed because this, it's, it's beautiful paper. Look at the birds that you get on it. Um, okay, next is these birds. We're going to cut some of them. I might... That's a pretty big piece. Um, so I'm going to take off some of this lettering. And we're just going to leave the birds like that. I like the musical notes, but we're going to take some of them off. And we may not use all of this. You know, um, if you like just the words, save some of just the words. Let's just do, okay. And look at the, this is another part that is like my favorite. So this may be my focal point because I think that's my favorite part. So I, I may not even use all of that. So you just pick out what you like in here. So just looking. I love, love, love this paper. And that's why I wanted to do another project with it. I'll show you the cross when I'm done. In case some people haven't seen the cross, I'll show you the cross. I have it behind me. It's beautiful. Um, so 
I wanted to show you, though I did that on a live, I wanted to show you that you can do it on other things too, and it'll be beautiful on this. So it's really easy to do. You're just using Mod Podge, okay? So again, this I think is gonna be my focal point. Okay, that's where I'm gonna start in. And because I got the bird up here, I'm actually probably going to, yeah, I'm gonna put it on like that. Um, you don't necessarily have to use these big pieces, but I just love that piece there. So, and you have to be careful once you get it wet, when you lay it down, you can't really rub on it a lot because it'll tear the paper. So you just sort of dab. So I'm just gonna put a big amount of this paper on. Now it might wrinkle a little bit, but because it's so thin um, and it's gonna be a little rustic looking, I'm okay with it wrinkling a little. If it was a littler piece, it probably wouldn't. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that to the side. I'm just gonna lay this on here, and I might have to add a little extra in places where I didn't get. So you just sort of dab it down in, fit it in. Now I can see there's not any over here. We're gonna add a little extra. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. Just lay that down on this side. Okay, dab that down. Now it will tear if you do too much with it, so you have to be really careful. Um, it needs some more out here. And just dab that on. And then we'll put a coat. Okay. All right, so that's the first one, and that'll dry. When I'm all done, I probably would go through with another sealer. So let me just, now I'm going to take, I think, um, let me just see what else is on here. I think there's some. There's some branches here that I'm going to do, and that are, I'm not going to take the bird. I'm just going to take the branches. Um... And we're going to do that one next, if I can find the one I cut out. <laughs> this one is it. All right. And I'm going to take that down. Okay, let's bring this back into the middle. I'm going to get this out of my way. And then when we're all done, we're going to add a little bit more to this, not only the paper. We're going to add a little more to decorate on it. All right, so I think I'm going to just take this down. We're gonna have this branch come over to over the top. Um, I don't want a straight edge though, so I'm gonna cut that a little bit. Again, you can tear it. It's not the easiest to tear, but we're gonna have some branches coming down like that, okay? So you can lay it out and piece it together. So sort of dab that on. And like I said, you have to be careful so you don't tear it. Just lay that down in there. Probably don't have enough under there. There we go. And then that'll lay on nice. I just didn't have any under there. Okay. So again, when we're all done, we're gonna go over the top of it with one more layer. All right, so we've got the birds there. We've got the branches coming down. Let's add, let's add some birds down here yet. I think I'm gonna tear a little of this off and we might be able to use this branch too. Thank you, Gina. This paper is a collage paper. It comes in a roll comes in a roll like this and it comes in a tube and it's Tim Holtz. So I will post a link for it because like I said, I know I got it at Hobby Lobby. When I went back to go get more of other kinds, they didn't have it anymore. So this is what I've had here and I just love using it. So I think we're gonna just put these birds, we're gonna lay them down over here. And it's okay if it goes on over the bottom like that. 
just add a bunch of the Mod Podge. We're going to put some on the bottom because it's going to need it. You can always tear it off or sand it off if you don't want it to go over the bottom. Just piece it down in. Honestly, you could cover the whole pot with this. Okay, put a little more on top. Okay, so you're just going to go around and do the whole pot. So let's do another branch coming down. Because I tore it off, I might as well use it. Um, I'm just going to get a little bit this out. So, and it actually is working really good with that other color behind there. You're not even noticing. Um, it just, it, that color makes it look um, more worn, but it doesn't take away from this paper. And it actually blends in with the paper some. So I like that. Yeah, Terry, it is so much fun to use. Um, like I said, this, I love using this collage paper. And it lays on really easy. I mean, again, you have to be careful so that you don't overwork it because it would tear. A little bit more on here. Okay, and I think we're gonna put one more piece on. And I like this birdie. Let me, I just need to see it this way too. I actually think I'm gonna, this says Birdie Darling. Let's just see. That actually could have been a focal point too. Look at this part. That's really cute too. But I did like that nest. I think I have room here. I'm gonna put this Birdie Darling here, but I'm gonna cut off the bird on the bottom. And then that's what we're going to put on here. And then I'm going to just add a little bit more rustic to it, and we're going to be done. All right. Okay, so the Birdie Darling, I think I'm just going to lay, lay across. Okay, we're going to add it like that. And... That's all we're going to add. I could decoupage all day. Right at right a all right, so let's just put that on. And we're just gonna add a little more Mod Podge on top of that. And you have to watch out so those sides don't lift up. Okay, I think I'm going to, I am gonna dry it a little bit so you see what it looks like dried. It's going to be really pretty. And honestly, when you're done, you'll want to give a whole coat all over it. And now just hold this all down. But for tonight, I'm just going to do just to make sure the edges. And you can see how this one's already drying on that side. And it's, it's really, really pretty. All right. So um, that's all I'm going to put on here for the Mod Podge for tonight. I think I'm going to get rid of my brush. Now I'm going to dry it a little bit, and then we're just going to add a little more rustic to it yet. You could use napkin. Totally, you could use napkin, Teresa. I actually, when I was doing that cross, I was going to show you a napkin, too, that I have downstairs. It's gorgeous. I don't know where I got it from, though. It's red with yellow flowers. Yeah, and then on the other side, I think it's yellow with red flowers. Gorgeous. Um, but I have it done with napkins. I know other people do, and I will do that sometime. And that one's beautiful, so I will try it. So i just going to dry it a little bit so you can see, and then I'll add the rest of the rustic, and we're going to be done. You're not seeing much right now, <laughs> but it's almost dry. I want to. I want you to see it dry. Okay, I need just a little dab to hold this edge down. But look at how it dries. Isn't that beautiful? And I've got a little bit more here. I'm just going to lay that there. Did you see that go fly? <laughs> All my little papers here that I had laying here, I had it pointed the wrong way.
great. So let's just finish decorating it a little bit. I just have a little more touch to it. Now, actually will be a little difficult because I don't know what side I like the best. I do like this this bird side the best, so that's where we're gonna go. Now, while it's a little damp yet, again, you have to be careful touching on the paper so your, your fingers don't stick to it and lift it up. Um, we're gonna add some jute. We're just gonna add a little tie of it, I think. We're just gonna add a little tie, just to add a little bit of extra cuteness. Let me just see. Yep, we're gonna, well, actually, you know what? I don't know that I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna just do a bow. I'm just gonna do a bow because I don't wanna cover the birds. I don't wanna cover the birds. I'm gonna do a bow. I changed my mind. Um, you know what? I like this. Let's see if we can make that work. See, this is what I do now. This is, if, if I didn't have you on here, but I do, I would be playing and figuring out what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a bow with this instead of the jute tonight because I like the color with it. I like it. I like sort of that plain color. You wouldn't use this for a live plant, would you? You know, you could if you put a really good sealer on it. You could put a sealer on before and after, but you'd need it to seal really good. There's probably Mod Podge that would be a lot better coverage than this. Um, I, I know this is a sealant too, but and I know Mod Podge has sealer, but there's other sealers. And I said, like, before you do it even, I know you could use, like, Scotch Guard on the pot itself. Um, spray it inside and out, but there's sealers that you could seal the pot inside and out and then put this all on and then seal it really good again and you'd be able to use it outside. Um, I like sometimes putting the stuff outside like I said before just because if it gets more aged, I don't mind. And next year I can always just sand it off and reuse it. Okay, so I'm just untwisting this because I want a little bit of that. Everybody knows I like I'm twisting like my jute and everything. Um, I just love that twisting. And so I'm untwisting. This is macrame cord. I got this, I'm sure, at Hobby Lobby too a long time ago. It lasts forever when you don't do macrame. <laughs> yeah, Debbie, I'm not going to cover the birds. They're too pretty. I'm just going to add just a little bit, just something up here. So, yeah, I thought if I did a round, but I'm not going to cover the birds. I like them. All right, let me just see if I have enough. So I just want to, I'm just going to try a little bow. If it doesn't work, we may just end up the way it is. Okay, I think I need a little bit more. I'm just going to cut it off. It's easier to untwist it that way. Okay, I'm just making a mess here, trying to untangle this. And we're going to see if we're going to add a little bowl. If not, we're going to see how it looks. If not, I may just leave it just like this because I'm loving this. And then do you want to see that cross? I mean, some of you maybe didn't see the cross that I made uh, with the crackle paint in these birds. I can show you that too. I have that here. So this collage paper is just so pretty. This was the cross that I did on a live probably about a month ago. Um, but so I made this with the birds too, only I did the crackle paint and added the little bit of bird. So there wasn't as much on here. I wanted to do a little more. So that's what so that's what what you can do. You can do so many different things with it. I think that's one of my favorite things now is that collage paper. All right, so I'm just going to try tying a bow. Um, I'm going to do a different one. I'm going to do one like this. Yep, okay. That's what I'm going to do. Let me take, I'm going to take one of these strings out of here. And I'm gonna make a bowl. This is how I make my, my bows. So you start with one down and you end up with the other one up. 
and how big you want it, you just spread your fingers apart. And let's just see how it's gonna work. We're gonna tie it together with this too. And if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Yeah, Norma, did you try making anything with the collage paper? You saw me do it with the cross, right? All right, I'm still trying to get this figured out. I'm sorry, this is not, all right. Let me try doing that one more time. One more time, I just gotta get this wrapped around my fingers and I'm actually gonna wrap it a time around here so it stays together. So it stays together. <gasps> Do you ever have times like that when you're just trying to tie a simple bowl and it doesn't want to cooperate? It doesn't want to cooperate. It's going to this time. We're going to wrap it around and I'm going to keep track of which ones are my ends. And then watch me not even use this. Wouldn't that be embarrassing? All right. There, there we go. Now we'll see, we'll see if I use it. Tried the crackle paint and didn't work for me. You know, the crackle paint, let's see, you use chalk paint. I don't know that that would make a difference. The secret with the crackle paint is you do your first coverage, let it dry, you put on the crackle medium you let that dry and then your top coverage, you have to do it fast and you have to do it a little bit thicker because that's what that's what's gonna crackle then. All right, let's see what we got here. We'll just see if it works. Got my extra end over here, I'm not sure. All right. You know what? I'm not gonna use it because I'm not gonna find a place that I actually like it. Um, if I cut it shorter, maybe I cut it shorter. It can't hang down because we can't cover the, the birds. So you could do that. That would be cute. Um, or you could even go in between, but you know, you, you want a focal point. So honestly, it probably, we could do it there. That would be sort of cute. Do you like it there? I was gonna put a button on there yet, but no. The button would take away from the birds, I think. You know I like using buttons, but we're just gonna add this. And you know what would be cute? Okay, so I put this here. Shifting it a little so we see that bird. You could put a, you could put a few of them around, right? You could put one here, you could put one here, and you could put one here. That way, whatever way you have it turned, you would see a bow. Okay, I don't think I would want, um, I don't think I want a natural button, although, okay, I gotta see what I'm doing here. Oh, that might be a little cute, huh? Okay, do I have to add a button? Are those hearts for the button? A small one? I just have to see it myself. Okay. It's going on and then I'll show you. Oh, these buttons are just, yes, it's a jar of buttons of all these rustic kind of looking natural. And each side, okay, so like if you have a light side, you got dark side on the others. Um, you have patterns, like you, this one has like the dashes. Some of them are like, this is actually a really cute pattern if you can see it. So yeah, so okay, that's what I got. Did it, do you like how it turned out? Yeah, I think so, Amanda. They always make it complete. This is what we got. Everybody stay happy, healthy, and safe and we will see you all really soon.